to go on a little brunch date with my boyfriend there's this i actually went in one of my other vlogs i went to this place um toast coffee house and they release like monthly specials so right now they have their summer specials and they have a lobster roll eggs benedict which sounds just like the most amazing thing i've ever heard of so i've been wanting to try that so we're gonna go there and get that and just have a little brunch date but I decided to vlog because I feel like I have kind of a fun day today. So after brunch, I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe hang out for a little. I kind of want to go to the gym. Later tonight, my mom and I are meeting up with my friend Kimmy and her mom. And we're going to dinner. We're going to get some sushi. And then we're going to see the Barbie movie. So I'm really excited. I've already seen the Barbie movie. Um, I went the day it came out, but my mom hasn't seen it, and my friend Kimmy wanted her mom to see it too. So we're going to have like a little mother-daughter dinner and a movie date. So I'm really excited for that. I think it should be super fun. It was my first vlog ever on Sunday, so two days ago, and everybody was being so nice. So many people messaged me and said like the cutest things and said that they watched it and they loved it, so that made me so happy. And I just like really appreciated everybody saying such nice things so if you watched my first vlog and you texted me and like said something nice or told me that you watched it thank you so much it literally meant so much to me and made me so happy like i thought people would watch it because i posted on my instagram story so i figured like people would be curious because i know that if somebody that i went to like high school with or something posted a vlog on their instagram story i would definitely watch it because i'd be curious but I didn't think that so many people were going to watch it and I didn't think that so many people were going to like message me saying they liked it. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. I'm just going to finish getting ready. I'm going to do some light makeup I think because this is not giving. Um, and just get ready for brunch. Doing my fit check guys. Nick is filming me. So we have the little wrestling suit from Garage. And it's a little unique because we have an open back. Mm. But we're covering it up because I don't want to feel like naked. We had this denim jacket that was my dad's. I think the brand is it's Gap. Gap jacket from the 80s though. And then my shoes are from Marshall's, just like a Air Force dupe. Some white socks. And I have my little headband on. And then my bag. We're giving 80s today. We're giving workout Barbie. And now for Nick's fit. I just found this hat yesterday. I was cleaning up my room and I think it's also from the 80s, from Poland. Um, all of these are older. I Let's got... get a close up. Guys, Nick is a jeweler, so if anyone needs jewelry, yeah, hit me we got out. from Poland, the Onyx it's ring. It's like 100 years old. Yeah. This one Sapphire from... ring, this diamond one ring from, like from the his 80s. dad. Um, we got these shoes by Meg. Nike Halloween cauldron dunks with the green bottom. Let's see the green bottom. Whoa! <laughs> shoes match the shorts, shorts match the hat. That's the outfit. Ready to go. We're gonna go to brunch and then Nick wants to go to the gym too. I was telling them I wanted to go to the gym. So I might try his workout today. Everything was great. The food was really good. Definitely want to go back and have that lobster roll egg benedict again because it was so good. It's like 1.15 now. So Nick and I are going to go to the gym around 2. I'm going to just like take my makeup off and change. And then I have a few little things to do for my job social media before we go. And yeah, then we're going to go to the gym and work out a little bit. I love this little set thing so much. I feel like everybody needs these. It's so cute. I feel like you can 
style it so many different ways like the denim jacket that I did you could do like a button up you could wear a sweatshirt over it or whatever or you could even wear it as a bodysuit and wear pants with it it's like a super cute top I'm just so obsessed with that every time I wear this I'm like oh my god this is definitely one of my favorite pieces in my whole closet that'll leave for the gym so I'm just gonna show a quick fit check so I'm just wearing this t-shirt this is actually merch from the what we said podcast which is my favorite podcast and then i'm wearing these biker shorts from forever 21 they're just like a beige with rib material i love these shorts so much i haven't been able to find them like the style in another color or anything i got these like three years ago but they are literally the softest things ever i'm back from the gym i showered and just threw on some sweats um i have about 45 minutes before i have to start getting ready for dinner with my friend and her mom so right now i'm just gonna do a little at-home manicure while i watch the season finale of cruel summer on hulu i've been watching every week and the season finale finally came out today so i'm excited to see the ending of that but i'm just gonna paint my nails with this pink color because i feel like it's very barbie the name of it is bachelorette bash by essie just finished watching Curl Summer, the finale. Definitely recommend that show. There was a huge plot twist that I did not see coming, so I love that. Also finished my nails, just a little pink color. So now I'm gonna pick an outfit. I kinda have one in mind, but I'm gonna pick my outfit out and do some makeup and stuff for dinner. I have a half hour, so I'm running a little bit low on time, but I needed to watch the season finale of that show. Also guys, I wanted to quickly show you my current read. I am currently reading A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. I got that when I was in South Carolina. I have about 100 pages left of that, so maybe I'll try to finish it tonight. But honestly, so far I'm not loving it. I don't know, it's just a little slow for me. I like the like past memories that the main character has of... This is not a spoiler, but when her dad was like a serial killer during her childhood, I'm liking the memories of her past, but the future is just seeming a little bit slow. There's nothing really happening and something did just happen, but I guessed that like 15 pages into the book and I'm really, really, really hoping that that's not the ending because I would be so disappointed if that's like the big plot twist. It was super obvious to me from the beginning and there's still 100 pages left, so I don't know how they would even keep the storyline going of this is like the main plot twist but yeah i'm gonna try to finish it tonight i'm hoping for a really good ending maybe bring it to like a solid three even 3.5 but right now it's just a little disappointing not a bad book though i am enjoying reading it and i'm you know it's not bad at all but definitely not like great either so far so fingers crossed it'll get better Okay guys, I just got ready. I'm about to get going for dinner and to see the Barbie movie, but I'm going to show you guys my outfit quick. So of course I had to wear something pink for Barbie. So I have this little sweater on from Airy, and then let me move the camera so you can see. <laughs> These um, just straight leg jeans are from American Eagle, and then I just have those same white sneakers on from before. So yeah, just a casual little outfit, nice and cozy. We are supposed to be there in like five minutes, so I think we're gonna get going to do some sushi and then go to the movie after. And this is mom's fit check. She has her pink outfit too. It's the only pink I own. And her khakis. <laughs> <laughs> and heels. Yeah. Flip flops. She's ready to go. Wear the heels. We just finished Barbie. Do you want to tell them your thoughts? I have so many thoughts. First of all, <laughs> she um, loved it. I loved it's safe it. To say. I loved it. I can't believe I'm saying that. When I was a kid, I didn't love Barbie, and now here I am, an adult, loving Barbie. Never expected to like the movie, let alone think it was powerful and funny. Honestly, mostly, I feel heard. I feel like it really addressed the fact that like super relatable. Yeah, that perfection is not realistic, but that we should 
be willing to accept less than perfection as perfect. And and I also feel like it's very hard not to appreciate seeing it with my daughter because yeah. No disrespect to men, but nobody could appreciate that movie like a woman. Exactly. Could. Yeah. And that was That's why really me and Kim awesome wanted you fun. guys to see it because yeah. we were like, oh, they'll definitely love this. And especially to go with like your daughters and then your friends. It's like. But it didn't hurt perfect. on men either, you know? No. Like at certain times, like the power in the movie flipped back and forth. So I appreciated that too. It's not about let's take the hate and aim it at the other sex. It's like, let's not hate. Let's yeah. like recognize and and just be celebrate who we are. I really liked it the first time, but I like didn't know what to expect at all, so I was kind of surprised. So this time like knowing what it was about going into it, I knew what to expect so I could like uh, fully appreciate it. 10 out of 10. Great surprise. Everybody go see. Definitely go see Barbie. it. Barbie. We can play outside now. Okay. Gonna show them your tricks, ready? Set. <gasps> Good, Good boy. boy. Lay down, lay down. Lay down. <laughs> Lay down, booby. Lay down. This is all yeah. I'm gonna do to writing. Okay, you try your best. It's okay. Mm -hmm. well Fun behaved. fact about Tita. Tita is blind. Yeah, but Tita can see with his mind and his heart. He's so smart. And he does see some shadows. Good boy, Tita. Today you was out. There was a woman crossing the road with some dogs. You deaf, and they weren't making any noise, but you knew they were there. So I think you see some some shadows. Guys, even though Teeter is blind, he loves to play fetch, so we're gonna throw his rope for him. All right, Teeter, go get it! And watch, he can find it so easily. Yay, good boy! He found it! So smart! He literally is obsessed with playing fetch. He will bring this for hours. Like, he will not stop bringing this toy to me until I literally close the door on him. He you think some up there still? pajamas did my skincare made some tea and now I'm just in bed I'm about to read for a little bit but I had a really fun day I didn't vlog too much at the movies or at dinner because we were just chatting with Kim and her mom and I just love spending time with them I don't see them that much so I just kept forgetting to vlog because I was just like living in the moment <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and coming along with me today hope you guys enjoyed I will definitely be back with some more videos soon. Definitely have some back to school videos to look forward to with the semester starting up this month. So be looking forward to some FIT content.